guess we're gonna draw Donkey Kong. Yeah, we're really excited and hope you're gonna follow along with us because art is always better with- Friends. Yeah, friends like you. Mm -hmm. You need your drawing supplies. We're using markers, but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. You also need some- Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. First, we're going to start by drawing his nostrils. And <laughs> we're going to start by, well, actually drawing the top of his nostrils. We're going to draw a small little V right here in the middle of our paper, but it looks like he sat on it. It's squished. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to draw a little curve on the left and also a little curve on the right. And we can then add the nostrils inside of those two little bumps. That's pretty simple, easy way to draw Donkey Kong's nostrils. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna draw his eyes and we're gonna draw two circles. And well, let's draw his cheeks first. We're gonna draw a line that comes out on the left and also out on the right. And we want those lines to match. And we're gonna draw him with a big smile too, so he's really happy. Then we're gonna draw his eyes next. And we're gonna draw oval shapes. But we can start in the middle and come up like this, around and then back down. And then we'll do the same thing for the other side, up, around, and back down. So we're only drawing part of the oval since it's connecting to his nostrils. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then we're gonna draw his pupils inside and I'm gonna draw them kind of cross-eyed. <laughs> Now let's draw his eyebrows. We're gonna start up here. We're gonna draw a line that curves down in the middle and then back up on the other side. <laughs> it kind of already is starting to look like Donkey Kong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's add more details. We're gonna add the outside line to his eyebrows. We're gonna come up like this around and then watch, we're kind of following it around like this <laughs> and then back down. <laughs> Hello, Donkey Kong. <laughs> Yes, go over, <laughs> then back down. <laughs> he looks Perfect. so good. Yeah, he's looking awesome. Okay, now he kind of looks like a frog. Okay. <laughs> now let's draw his mouth and we're gonna draw him really happy. And we're gonna draw a big U shape. We'll start here on his cheek and we're gonna come down like this. And we're gonna come over and it's kind of flat and then we're gonna come back up over here like that. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should have made it a little wider, but that's okay, right? We're practicing. Yeah. And you could make yours a little wider too if you want. Oh yeah, you can start there too. That works. There you go, around and then back up. Yeah. Okay, now let's add his teeth and we're gonna draw just, it, we're gonna keep it really simple. We're just gonna draw his teeth right here at the bottom and we're just gonna draw them. I'm gonna go back over a little bit. There we go. So. You can just barely see his teeth underneath his lip. Now let's draw the bottom of his mouth. We're gonna start here and we're gonna draw open. We're gonna come down, around, and back up. So it makes the, yeah, it's really open. <laughs> that is a big face. <laughs> he's really happy. I love Donkey Kong, yeah, he has, he's a big gorilla. Yes. Now we're gonna draw the bottom teeth and we're gonna draw another U shape that comes down and back up. Then we're also gonna draw his tongue inside. So we're gonna draw another U shape, but this one's a little smaller inside. Now we're ready to draw the outside shape of his cheek and also his chin. We're gonna come down and then we'll draw his chin around We'll come back up and connect to his other cheek over here. Yeah. Awesome. Now let's draw the top of his head. We're gonna start here. We're gonna draw a curve that comes up and then we're gonna curve in. And then we're gonna draw his hair and we're gonna draw it curving off to the side. And we can also draw a little V there if you want a sideways V for more hair. And then we're gonna curve down like this all the way over to the other side and into his cheek. What's he missing? His ears. Yeah, his ears. Let's draw a little upside down U shape here and also over here on the side. And then we could also draw more details in his ears. Let's draw a little curve at the top of each ear. 
And then we could also draw another curve or a little letter C and a backward C on the other ear. Now let's draw his big arms and also his body. We're gonna start here and we're gonna draw his big bicep right here on his chin or on his cheek. And then we're gonna draw another bicep over here on the side. Yeah, and then we're gonna draw the top of his back. We're gonna draw a curve on top of his ear on each side. And then let's draw a big shoulder. We're gonna come out like this, and then we'll come in, and we'll do the same thing over here, out and down. Then let's draw the rest of his arm coming down even further. So we're gonna draw another curve that comes in and down. <laughs> Yeah. And then we're going to draw the outside of his arm. And we're also going to draw his elbow. And we could also draw little zigzag lines for his fur. So I'm going to draw a little zigzag that comes down. And this is where his elbow will be. And we can draw a little zigzag over here for the fur also coming down to his elbow. Then let's draw more zigzags coming further down. And we're going to stop at the same length as the inside line and we can do more zigzags coming down here too to match so we want both of his arms to come down to the same length then let's draw a zigzag line to connect these two lines together and you can make that messy and change the zigzags so it looks more like fur let's draw a little curve comes out and then in we could do the same thing over here uh, out and then back in. So we've got a little sideways V and then we're going to curve around and then we'll stop like that. We'll curve at the bottom. Okay, now let's draw, let's draw his knuckles next. I'm going to start here and we're going to draw his finger and it's going to come down to the same length as his thumb. And then we're going to go all the way across like this and then connect into his arm. Let's do the same thing here. We'll start up here, come down, connect to the thumb, curve across, and then back up into his arm. Yeah. Now let's draw his little fingers. We're gonna draw one right in the middle. So we're gonna try to split his hand equally, and then we can split it again equally on both sides. And then let's do the same over here, right in the middle, and then split each side right in the middle also. That's a pretty easy way to draw his hands. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw his body. We need to draw his tie. And because he has his mouth open, we're gonna just draw part of his tie hanging down. So we're gonna draw it right here. We're gonna draw it coming down like this on each side. So two diagonal lines coming out. And then we're gonna draw the letter V to connect those two lines together. And then we're gonna color DK on his tie at the end. Let's keep going though, let's draw his body. We're gonna draw a curve here coming in from his bicep to his cheek or chin. Yes, and then we're gonna draw his belly. We're gonna come down like this, curve into the tie, and then we'll imagine it going through his tie and coming out the other side. Next, let's draw the outside of his body. I'm gonna start here and then we'll kind of trace around those other lines and we'll do the same on the other side since it's symmetrical. Then we're gonna draw his knee coming out and connecting to his arm on both sides or the top of his leg. Yeah, okay, now let's draw the inside of his legs. We're gonna start here at the tie and we're gonna come like this and then we'll come down and stop there. Then let's do the same thing on the other side. We'll draw sideways, letter V. And then let's draw another zigzag line for the bottom of his legs, the fur on his legs. 
then we're going to draw his back feet, and they have little thumbs on their feet. <laughs> so yeah. Let's draw a sideways U shape for the thumb, and we can draw that sideways U shape on the other side too, going the other direction. And then we're going to just connect from the thumb to his hand on each side. And we did it! We finished drawing DK, except we're not completely done. We still need to color him. Yes, my favorite part. We are going to fast forward, so remember to pause the video at the very end to match our same coloring. You ready to speed things up? Yeah. Don't forget to add DK with your yellow marker or a colored pencil right here on his tie. We're going to draw the D, and we're going to make it really thick too, and then a K right next to it. What does that stand for? <laughs> delicious. No. Uh. <laughs> Donkey Kong. It stands for Donkey Kong, not delicious. Delicious. Delicious cake. <laughs> no, because it's a cake. <laughs> delicious karate. <laughs> delicious karate. <laughs> We finished drawing Donkey Kong. He turned out super cool, all colored in. Did you have fun? Yeah, I had a lot of fun. Yeah, me too. And you guys can pause the video to match our same coloring. We really didn't use very many colors. We, we used our Art for Kids hub markers, and if you have the same set, you could use the same numbers to match our drawings. We used 341 for the tongue, and then for the brown, we used 103, and also for the rest of his body, like his face and also his belly and hands, we used... 97. Yeah. And then for the tie, we used red 15 and also yellow 35. I even added a shadow with my light gray CG1, but you could leave that off to keep the lesson a little easier. You could also add a background. Oh yeah, maybe you could draw Mario in the background. That would be really cool. Or Diddy Kong. Oh, that would be even better. <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun drawing Donkey Kong. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.